For this repair, we're going to be replacing the ballast. The first thing we need to do is remove all the screws off the back of the set. So you're going to find all these screws across here, and we're going to need to be removed. Now we've removed all the screws, we can go ahead and pull the lamp door off and it just slides right out. Next, before we pull it apart, we can remove the lamp. You should just have one screw at the top. And we can go ahead and just gently pull the lamp out. And you're going to want to make sure that you do this when the lamp is cool. Okay, now we've got all the screws out, we can go ahead and pull off this metal back piece and you should just slide out. And pass the power cord through and then out it comes. First things we're going to do are remove the connections on the optical block. There's a couple of connections on the optical block that we need to take out. We have the flat ribbon cable, the power connector, and then on the, uh, the chassis side where the pass play is, we have two connections. One down at the bottom that goes to the main, and then the power connector that goes to the ballast at the top. Once all those are removed, we can go ahead and undo the two screws on the bottom of the optical block, and then it should slide right out. Okay, so now we've taken out those four connections, we're able to go ahead and undo the screws and then the optical block will come out. First thing we need to do is remove the two screws right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And make sure to keep these separate. On one side you got a plastic screw, and on either side, I don't drop it, is a metal screw. If you forget, there's a marking right here that tells you this is a metal screw. You can also look in there and see that it goes to a a metal connection. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and unhook the wires at the top of the set, like so, and from around this little hook here. Okay, so now the screws are out, we can go ahead and there's two clips, one on each side. You want to push in on the side, and it'll kind of click, and the same on this side. Kind of help it forwards from behind, and then that'll lift out. We need to just push it around the housing there, and then there we go. Now we can get access to this screw in here, which allows us to remove the connection to the lamp. And then our lamp connection, we'll just Pop loose. Now we can go 
ahead and lay it down and remove our ballast. Okay. So if you wanted to go ahead and we can remove this wire, you can see how it wraps around the stand here. You don't always need to remove this, but if you had a damaged wire, this is how you would do it. Just let me pinch it and it pops right out. Then you want to undo the connection at the front. This is the main power connection to the board. Again, you pinch it, pull the little lever in, lifts up. And on this one, once again, just give it a little pinch, pull back gently and it should pop right out. Let's get the ballast out. There's a little catch right here. Slide it to one side and then lift your ballast up. Once you got it up to about there, bring it forwards towards you and it'll slide right out. And there we go. We've removed our ballast. We can put our replacement in. Okay, so to install our new ballast, just the same, but in reverse, we're gonna put our ballast in, slide it back, make sure it goes underneath the plastic catches at the back, and then push it down until it clicks in place. And we're gonna wanna re reattach our wires. A little connector right there, and you just push right on. And there, and the one at the back. And these will only go on one way. And make sure you wrap the wire around in the same direction it was before. And it stops it getting caught on anything and causing damage. And we can go ahead and oops, this one goes down. One more hook. Go ahead and screw in the lamp connection and then we're set. Okay, so to reconnect the lamp connector, you'll see there's a small tab that sits right here and you have a little cutout down there. You wanna make sure you put the tab in first and it kinda of just drops into a little hole and then the tab slots in. Go ahead and take a screw There we go, that's firmly locked in place. Now we can go ahead and put the black plastic cover on and start to reassemble the optical block. Okay, now we can put our black plastic cover on. And it just kind of drops down in place. And again, we have our little tabs. Make sure you just lower it in, make sure your fan fits in and another wires are caught. We'll go ahead and lock it into place. And we can just put in our two screws. Got the metal screw there. and plastic screw on the other side. Like so. Then we're gonna to wanna to take the wire right here and make sure that we hook it back around the catch and it can come around and go over to the formatter board. Okay, and now we've reassembled the optical block and replaced it with our new ballast. And we can put this back into the TV and see how it works. Okay, and before we put this in, it's a good time just to double check, make sure that you've got rid of all the dust from up in here. This is the section that goes inside of the TV and projects the image up onto the mirror and then onto the screen. If you have dust on here, it could show up as a blurry section or dark section. Okay, so now we're gonna replace our optical block in the TV. And when we do this, there's a few connections we need to be aware of. We have one that's up on top of the power supply that provides power to the ballast and we have a couple of power connections and uh, control connections here for the, the DMD board and go into the main board. We also have this which is the video signal from the main to the DMD board and we have this one which provides power to the DMD board. So we're going to put in our first connection here and It's a little bit fiddly, but holding the other wires up out of the way will help. Push it in until it kind of clicks. And you can go ahead and slide your optical block in. Keep those wires up and out of the way. Next up, you can take this power connector. This one goes up to the power supply. We next have this one right here. And it's going to connect to the formatter board. And lastly, we have the uh, video connection. 
So this one you need to make sure that you do have the right way around. The shiny side, or the side with the little teeth on there, is going to point to the left. So we need to turn the tape a little bit and push it up and in. And it should click in when it's in place and lock in place. And there we go. Okay, next we're going to put in the T screws that hold the optical block in. There's going to be one right in here and one right in here. So it's going to stop it sliding around if you move it or so losing focus. Okay, so next up we're going to reinstall our lamp. Let's go ahead and slide it in place. And it'll kind of click in when it makes the connection with the power cord. And go ahead and take your screwdriver and just snug that screw down to lock it in place. Okay, so next up we're going to reinstall our lamp. Let's go ahead and slide it in place. And it'll kind of click in when it makes the connection with the power cord. And go ahead and take your screwdriver and just snug that screw down to lock it in place. Okay, so we have our back. We, the first thing we need to do is take our power cord and just pass it through the hole over here. Just be careful of the edges. Sometimes they can be a little bit sharp and they can either catch you or the power cable. Neither of which is good. Once you have that done, you wanna make sure that this metal piece right here sits on the other side of this plastic. If you don't, the back will not go on. Once you've got it on that side, go ahead and push it in place and you'll see that there's little plastic pegs that should line up in each corner. Once that's done, you can go ahead and start putting screws in. And there we go, we've put the back back on. Okay, so now we gotta put the lamp cover back on and I just realized that I actually put the screws in right here that actually hold the lamp cover in place. So I just undid those. Now we can put our lamp cover in. One of the things with the lamp cover, there's a couple of plastic tabs right here. They're gonna slide right into these holes. So you're gonna need to make sure you slide those in first. And it allows that to go over and lock in place. I'm going to take our two screws and put those in. And there we go. We have the back cover on the TV. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings.